quick shout out, man, because um, <clears throat> me and you've been uh, dealing with each other over the internet for the last month or two. And man, you got a new name every damn week because these people get on your nerves. But you just got to relax and let the shit come to you. You can do this because I have seen your videos and I know you got this in you. And I know you get tired of all the stress and drama on this YouTube thing. But people like you are why I did this. Because I thought I was going to be able to play my music and and let somebody hear my music and I write all these songs that I don't write. I just sing them out of my head and shit. And, and I wanted the opportunity to do like these other people and actually find something on here. Find a way I can put my music out so I can say, you know what, I tried. Then I commented on the video. And <laughs> I don't know what I did or whatever, but the video I commented on actually got more action than my music videos. And I forgot what made me talk that first time. But I think it was China Doll. She was saying something about something. And um, I started talking. And when you talk, you get shit off your chest, man. And if you see something going on wrong in the community, and you can't talk to nobody in the community, you have a community right here. The world is your community. The rules that we have, there ain't no fucking rules on YouTube. I mean, they don't keep the kids separated from the crazy ass grown man. But then, if you got some positivity, that tends to get shut down on YouTube. Oh, I can't show this shirt. They got positivity, man. And when you say some positive shit, you're not going to get no video hits. When you talk about bettering people, you're really not going to get no video hits. When you talk about how life is and how life can be better, you probably won't get no video hits. When you start talking political about what the, what the political situation in our country should be, you won't get no video hits. Unless you're some news organization, a part of some group or some club, you just one of us. And I'm proud to have you as one of us. You're one of the best people I've seen on this YouTube. You come in here, you calm and you cool, and you don't go off. Yet, I want you to be relaxed, man. Because you are real. I'm the fake. I am fake. Because I have this notion in my mind that there's going to be peace between blacks and whites and Mexicans are not a factor in the job market. I believe that we can overcome. But the little bullshit got to go. I can't be real by being ignorant or mean. I can't be a real man and hold some grudge against some white people that ain't got nothing to do with me. I cannot be real being mad at some gay person. I cannot be real if I allow something that goes on in someone else's household to affect me mentally. I can't be real if the people around me are fake. I can't be real if I have to live up to an image that I put out when I was a kid. I can't be real if I don't get to speak my mind. That's why I like you. Because you can be real. It's because we need you to be real. We need you on YouTube. A lot of people say, oh man, it's just a nut nigga. Fuck him, man. Fuck him. Don't even know you. You've commented on a lot of my videos and we talked each other to each other on the little typing a little. We talked, we said a few things. But you're real. We need people like you. We need people like the Sergeant Willie P. Even though people don't like Willie P, we like Willie P. I do. We need people like London Canada. We need people like Jay Ryder. We need people like Father Judgment. We need people like you. And so on and so forth. Sean67. I mean, all kind of names I can tell you of real people on YouTube. And you're one of them.
But hey, I don't know what you're going to be called next week. You have a new name every week. Put your root in the ground, man, and let it grow. And regardless of whatever happens, regardless of whatever you may think, regardless of if you don't think you got anybody on this YouTube that's really your friend, you've got one person that's your friend. I know of one person that I know is definitely your friend. Look real close at your screen. Get a little closer. Look into his eyes. Because you're real. I only talk to real people on this damn thing. From the number two asshole all the way down to the bottom. Baha Boogie, baby! I just mess with you, son. We're all a real family here. And you welcome to be my father. Okay. No, I just mess with you. And, um,. You you welcome to be part of my family anytime, man. You and you know people out there know who they who's my family is on YouTube, all of them, because whenever somebody subscribes to me, whenever somebody sits down and and pays attention to my videos, whenever somebody says something positive, whenever somebody says, you know what, man, you're right. That's my family. Whenever they say, man, I don't agree with you, you need to change this. That's my family. Because if you want to spend your time looking at all this bullshit and dumb shit, ooh, this ooh, fashion, oh, gay guys making jokes or retarded policemen or whatever, whatever. I watch real people. I watch Tom Kennedy, old white guy in the wheelchair. Ooh. Why would a young black man, young, a 40 year old black man, watch some white guy? Because he's real. I'm not looking at nobody acting. I'm not looking at none of the none of the comedians on here. I really don't fuck with none of the comedians on here. Because after my music didn't do what I thought it would do. After talking to people and noticing that, you know what? They want to hear me. After being heard, after being told, man, you fucking up. Man, you crazy. You wrong. You know you're wrong for that. That's a conversation that I had with, with family a long time ago. When family was tight. When I can call my cousin. When I can call my little sister. When I call my big sister. When I call my big brother. And you will know. You will know instantly when somebody's real. Three or four videos later, you can tell when they go fake. Somebody says, AIX, why do you want to be a partner? I want to be a partner so I can change some things. I want to be a partner so my videos can earn pennies on the dollars so my son can have something later. I don't need a billion dollars. I don't want to be, ooh, so much more. I don't want to be that. I want to be somebody who came, who showed up, who taught people, who learned from people, and who left. I want to be here do something and leave. But I can't leave. A little girl told me, if you quit making videos, I won't be able to understand some of the things I'm going through. I won't be able to coat a little white girl. And people say to yourself, why in the hell you deal with these people because they're real? There's not just one color on this planet. There's a multitude of colors. We are rainbow people. And we are real. We are fake. And we are phony. We don't want to be on this end over here. Next to the phonies. We don't want to be in the middle. Next to the fakes. We want to be all the way to this side right here. We want to be right here. Right next to you. Right next to somebody who's being real. Till next time, my friend, don't hesitate. Because you know we'll talk. And you've been tubed. For real.